you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. For every bell that ever there was will gather there for certain, because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. You know, a teddy bear is a really special kind of toy. Something a little different to everyone. Someone to cuddle up with on a rainy day. Someone who's there to share your happiest moments. Or to keep you company when things aren't going very well. Someone who always listens and never complains when you make a mistake. <gasps> Did you know that there is one day, each year, when all the stars in the nighttime sky are just right, but something magical happens? For that one day, children everywhere go without their teddies and never even notice. But on this one particular day, someone did notice. I'll be back before you've even noticed that I'm gone. I promise. Oh, mustn't forget these. day. Oh no, not rain. <laughs> it's just me. Wally, what are you doing up there? Well, after all that tea was spilt on me at the tea party, Sally figured I needed a bath. I'm still a little wet behind the ears. Well, we'll soon change that. But first we've got to get you down from there. It's okay, Ben. I can handle this myself. All I have to do is take these off. Wally, no! Whoa! Uh, sorry, Ben. Yeah, that's all right, Wally. I know you're a little excited. Heck, I remember my first time. I was so excited I could have run all the way. Well, when I think of it now, I bet wow. I was a hand for the bear that took me. You should have seen the look on his face. Ow! Wally, you're not listening to me. You know the teddy bear's first rule, don't you? Sure. The first rule to being a good teddy bear is... Always be a good listener. That's right. It's most important for teddy bears to be good listeners. I'm sorry, Ben. It won't happen again. I'll do enough listening to make any teddy bear proud. This is the first time I've ever had to take a younger bear with me, and I've got to make sure you arrive safely. Come on, let's go. Oopsie daisy. Oh boy, my very first teddy bear's picnic. Yahoo! It's a pretty big world out there. Not like in the playroom. There'll be lots of things that you've never seen before. <laughs> but we have to be careful that no one sees us. 
Oh, I'll be real careful then. You see, being a good teddy bear means you have to follow, well, certain rules. The paying attention is important, but so are all the others. And besides just knowing the rules, a teddy bear has to know when to use them. Uh-oh, here comes the milkman. Whoa. Quickly, Wally, the second rule to being a good teddy bear. The second rule to being a good teddy bear is never, ever let a people see you move. Right, Ben? <sighs> Wally, you've got to go teddy awfully fast when people pop up. I know, Ben. But why? Well, if they see us move, we won't be able to do our jobs. Oh, I guess that would be serious. Yes, very serious. Why? Why? Because no one would tell us their problems or cry on us when they felt bad. And who would share their secrets with us if they thought we'd spread them around? Now, Bear is at his best when he's sitting still just listening. Okay, quickly. <laughs> Just listening, huh? Like him? He doesn't look like a teddy bear, but he sure seems to be a good listener. Yeah, I guess he's heard a few stories in his time. <laughs> hey, look at all the birds. Hi, all you birds. My name's Wally, and you know what? I'm going to the teddy bear's picnic. Wally, what's rule number three? Oh, that's easy. Never tell anyone about... Never tell anyone about the teddy bear's picnic. Sorry, Ben. Well, okay. But if we keep going at this rate, we'll never get to the picnic. Remember, we have to be back by nightfall. Uh, Ben, is it very far to the picnic? Yeah, well, kind of far. Are we going to walk all the way? No, nope. I know a shortcut. A shortcut? Great, oh boy, a shortcut! What's a shortcut? This, kid, is a shortcut. Gee, a shortcut looks just like a piece of paper. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Wally, quick! <laughs> What's this? Looks like some kid couldn't reach the mailbox. Oh, it's dark in here. Don't worry, old pal. I'm right here. But I like the dark. What's the picnic like? Will there be any bears my age? Yep, bears from everywhere come to play games, tell stories, sing songs, or meet all the new bears, like you. Wow! Look at all the flowers! Will there be any flowers at the picnic? There'll be everything a teddy bear could ever want at the picnic. Teddy fast enough, Ben? You are fast, Wally. The fastest yet. Ugh. Now remember this spot. We've got to get back here before sunset. Otherwise, we'll never make it back in time. Ugh. Gee, Ben, I sure am glad you're showing me the way to the picnic. I'd never have found it on my own. Sure you would, Wally. Every teddy bear in the world can find the picnic. It's like a feeling you get. It practically pulls you to the picnic. Oh, yeah. I think I can feel it. Does it sort of make your head spin? No, it's just a feeling like opening your presents on your birthday. Sort of makes you all warm inside. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it. It's this way. It's real close! Yay! Oh dear. <laughs> ah! Yay! Let me out of here! Thank <laughs> you.
Are you all right, Wally? I guess so. I just need a little more practice to get this feeling thing. That was scary. Ah, they're just a bunch of harmless farm animals, Wally. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, I didn't know. I'm just a kid. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben. It's just a harmless old bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough fooling around. Let's get going. Why, when I was a young bear, all we could think about was the teddy bear's picnic. We just couldn't wait, and it just seemed like it never come. We'd ask, is it time yet? Ugh. Come on, Wally. Coming! Wally? Wally, if you don't stop dawdling, we'll never get there on time. Now let's keep moving. Whoa. Huh? A teddy bear? Oh, what are you doing here? Are you lost? Mm, you're nice. But you're not my teddy bear. Oh, oh, I wish I could find him. He's lost, and so am I. <laughs> what am I going to do? I want my teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do, Mr. Bear? Oh, I've never been this far into the woods before. So even if I do find Teddy, I'll never find my way back to the farm. Oh, I want my Teddy Bear. I want Doc. <laughs> <clears throat> um, hi! <gasps> I'm a Wally, and I know where your teddy bear is. You're alive. Oh. Oh, yeah, and so's Ben. He's just afraid to move right now because he's gone teddy. Gone teddy? Uh-huh. That's what a teddy bear usually does when a people is around. All teddy bears? Even mine? Yep. And you know where he is? Yeah, he's at the teddy bear's picnic. Wally! What are you doing? You're not supposed to tell anyone about the teddy bear's picnic. I thought we went over that. Oh, yeah. Rule number three. Yes, well, how do you do? I'm Benjamin Bear. Hello, Benjamin. I'm Amanda. Is it true? Is my bear really at a picnic? Yes, well, at a picnic no one is supposed to know about except bears. You don't have to worry, Amanda. He'll come home right after the picnic. He'll be there before bedtime. But I'm lost. Oh, yeah. Well, Amanda, you can come to the picnic with us, and we'll find him together. I can? Hooray, hooray, hooray! hooray. hooray. We're, going We're going to the teddy, teddy bear's teddy picnic. picnic! Hooray! Wally, wait a minute. <laughs> she can't go. She can't? I can't? No, she can't. The picnic is only for bears. There have never been people there, ever. You know what would happen, Wally, if we took a people? I guess there would be a little less cake for some of us. It's not that, Wally. Think about it. Every single bear will freeze and go teddy if they see a... A people? Oh, yeah. <sighs> then we won't take a people. Huh? How do I look? She looks just like a teddy bear, doesn't she, Ben? Well, almost. There. Now she looks like a real teddy bear. Well, she sure doesn't look like a people. Let's go. The picnic is this way. I can feel it. Yeah, I've got a feeling, too. It's 
So what does your bear look like, Amanda? Well, he's kind of cute and cuddly, and he's got button eyes and a round little nose, and his name is Doc. Oh, boy. Hey, I can feel it! The picnic's just up ahead! If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. For every bell that ever there was, we'll gather bell for certain because today's the day that teddy bears have their pig. should have never let you talk me into this. This is all my fault. How could I have been so stupid? Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've ruined the teddy bear's picnic. And now I'll never find Doc or my way home. <laughs> Wait, don't go. Listen, all you bears. This is very important. You see, Wally here, he means well, but he's just a little overenthusiastic. And we met this girl in the forest, and, well, she had lost her bear, and she's lost too, so what could we do? Oh, it's no use. I'll never find my bear. Don't give up, Amanda. They're just confused. Thank you for trying to help, Wally. I'm sorry I ruined your picnic. Oh. You haven't ruined it, Amanda. Oh. Don't give up. I'm sure he's here somewhere. Listen, everyone. It's okay to move. Please, just this once. Don't be such good listeners. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh. Teddy bears aren't supposed to make children cry. We're supposed to comfort them, oh. aren't we? Amanda's bear, are you out there? <laughs> oh, it's no use. I'll never find him. Here I am, Amanda. Hey, here I am. It's me, Doc. Doc, you're okay. Way to go, buddy. We did it. Thanks, Wally. Thank you, Benjamin. 
and all of you. I'm sorry I ruined your picnic. I didn't mean to, but I love my teddy bear, and I had to find him. You shouldn't stop the picnic just because I'm here. I promise I won't say a word to anyone. Well, there is one exception. very, very much. Heck, it was nothing. After all, what are bears for? Well, we'd better be going. Hmm, that was the best picnic I've ever been to. I'm sure glad Amanda found her bear. It was pretty scary there for a while. Oh, I knew everything would work out. I never doubted it for a minute. But Ben... Yes, Wally? Uh, thanks, Ben. Ah, that's okay. I'll see you tomorrow at tea. <laughs> Come on, kids, off to bed. But, Dad, I can't find Wally. Well, where did you see him last? Yesterday. We had tea, and then I gave him a bath, and then I put him on the clothesline to dry. Well, he's probably still there. Dad, will you get him for me? All right, sweetheart. ever owned a teddy bear or wished to. Sally and Simon always like snow at Christmas. Did we have this much snow last year? I don't think so. But the year before that, now that was a very snowy Christmas. And what a Christmas to remember. It all began, hmm, let's see. Ah, yes, it all began with Sally's letter. By our good friends at McLaren's Toy Store. Wow! A Space Raider Destructor Helmet! I hope I get one of those. 
it. Oh, neat! A red laser phaser! Mom said no more guns. He was trapped on the planet Mars. Let's listen as his trusty friend... Norman what are you Walker. doing? None of your beeswax. Let me see. Mom, tell Simon to stop. Mom! It was life as usual in the house. Sally and Simon were busy running around while I was busy being Teddy. Which is sometimes hard to do. You see, we teddy bears can come to life. Slurp's always trying to make me go on Teddy. But it takes more than a game of fetch, shake, and toss to do it. Because whatever else happens, a teddy bear must never, ever let a people see it move. That's the teddy bear rule. Slurp, you leave Ben alone. You're always munching on Ben. Did that mean Slurp hurt you? <laughs> there you go. Slurp! <laughs> What's got into Slurp? I don't know. Simon, it's private! Just between me and Santa. You don't still believe in... What? Ah, forget it. There. Two Santa Claus, North Pole. And just in case he gets hungry for one of Mom's special Christmas cookies... A secret, Ben? I've written Santa Claus asking him for one special gift this Christmas. No, that's not it. I've asked Santa to bring me a teddy bear of my very own. Simon says you can be my bear, but I think he still needs you. Now remember, I'm counting on you to keep my secret. Hmm. Another teddy in the house? <laughs> oh no, not again! <laughs> huh? Slurp! Put that down, you oversized vacuum cleaner! That's not for you! That's Sally's letter to Santa! Let's look at our snowman! Yeah! What am I going to do? I've got to rescue Sally's letter. Now's my chance to rescue Sally's letter. Poor Sally is dreaming about a teddy bear for Christmas. And you've chewed up her letter to Santa. How's a wish supposed to come true if Santa doesn't know what to bring? There's only one more day until Christmas. I've got to find Santa and tell him what's happened. I bet you a nickel Sally's letter will tell me where to look. There. That's one puzzle solved. Oh, slurp. I forgot. Teddy bears can't read. They can only be read, too. Oh, I'll never find Santa this way. Better hide these. Sally would be so upset. Now what do I do? Oh, great. Just great. Slurp! Shame on you! 
on you. You leave Ben alone. Poor Ben. You can look all you want, Simon, but you won't find any presents until Santa brings them. Oh, yeah? Then how come Mom bought us presents at McLaren's yesterday? Gee, I don't know. It's only the most amazing toy store in the world. Maybe Mom's helping Santa out this year. You know how busy he can get. That's it. I can help Santa out by making Sally's wish come true. All I have to do is go to a Clarence toy store and find a teddy bear for Sally. <laughs> I hope this works. There are so many people in this wide world, I'm going to have to be pretty careful not to get caught unteddy. Well, here goes. Slurp! That's very naughty. Boy, outside's much bigger than inside. Well, I won't find McLaren's toy store by standing around. You want to go for a ride? is a magical place, but they seem to have everything except teddy bears. Second floor. Colorful kites, crayons and crafts, cotton candy just for laughs. Third floor. Robots and rockets, dressed up dolls, toy trains and trumpets and bright bouncing balls. Fourth floor, drums and dragons and monsters galore, kitty cars, kazoos, and much, much more. Fifth floor, wagons and wind-ups, whistles and whatnots, footballs and flippers, figure skates and stickers, puppets and players, and lovable, huggable teddy bears. Teddy bears? Hey, little fella, did you fall down? There you go. Now everyone can see you. Oh no, I'm trapped. Finding Sally a new teddy bear in time for Christmas is more difficult than I thought. I've got to get down from here. But with all these people... Ah! Okay. Now which way to teddy... Ah! Santa, I can tell him Sally's message myself, and then he'll fix everything. Oops, what am I thinking? Hey, that elf looks just like someone I know. Betty, 
the nice girl who babysits Simon and Sally. Maybe that's just the way it is with elves. They all look like someone you know. Hey! You're not supposed to be moving. And you're not supposed to talk either. Well, neither are you. Oh, yeah. Gee, I never talked before. Hey, everyone! I can talk! Shh! Welcome, shoppers. Would you like that gift wrapped? Oh, no. You can speak to the manager. Hmm, imagine that. A newfangled talking bear. McLaren's Toy Store will be closing in five minutes. Thank you for shopping at McLaren's and have a happy holiday. Don't you know the teddy bear rules? What if we all started talking and moving about? Boy, no one would ever trust a teddy to keep a secret again. Thank you for shopping at McLaren's and have a happy holiday. Hey, quit that! Gosh, I'd better get you out of here. I don't know how I know it, but you're just the right bear for a friend of mine. By the way, my name's Ben. Benjamin Bear. What's your name? Gee, I don't know. But then I don't know why I can walk and talk either. <laughs> That's because you're needed. What happened? You just went Teddy for the very first time. <laughs> you're no dummy. No, silly. I'm a teddy bear. McLaren's Toy Store is now closing. Thank you for shopping, McLaren's. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Now. What? Leave the toy store? You never said anything about leaving the toy store. Oh, no. Listen, there are more wonderful things outside this store than you can imagine. And besides, you're needed now. Sally is counting on you to be there. It's... it's your responsibility as a teddy bear. Who's Sally? Your best friend. Only you don't know it yet. Now just follow me and you'll be fine. But this is my home. Gone. You've got to listen to me. A people is depending on you. You sure are a nice bear, Ben. But I'm not leaving my home. There's a new home just waiting for you, full of... <laughs> Whoa! What was that? That makes me feel funny inside. Make it stop, Ben. <laughs> Are you lost? I'm sure your mommy will be here soon. Don't cry. <laughs> Ricky, there you are. Oh, thank goodness. Here's Teda. Why don't you hold her? Everything's going to be all right now. You see, that's what teddy bears do best. They help people feel better. They love people and are loved right back. I'd sure like to know what that feels like. Stick with me and you'll soon find out for yourself. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm off to be useful and loved right back. Hurry up. It's past closing time. This way. We must get out before... <laughs> We're locked in! Ooh. Hey, Ben! Look at this! No! Wait! Hey, Ben! Is this where you live? No, it isn't. Me down. <laughs> you look pretty funny, Ben. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Ben! Wasn't that fun, Ben? 
Fun? Fun? <sighs> Sally's gonna be so disappointed if you're not under that Christmas tree tomorrow morning. Maybe she'll stop believing in Santa, like Simon. Gee, teddy bears sure do have lots of responsibilities. Yes, and that's why they never give up. Well, you two are leaving in a bit late. Yeah, I'm running a little behind schedule. Seems like there are more children every year. Thank goodness for Betty's help. Hey, did you hear that? That elf is Betty, the babysitter. So perhaps that's not really Santa. Only a kind man helping him out. Just like you. I guess you'll be heading home then. Well, not quite yet. I still have presents to deliver. Quick, get in. I'd be happy to help deliver them. Thanks, but I have to deliver these myself. Which reminds me, here's something for you, Joe. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas, Mr. Jones. Thanks. Thanks very much. A and a Merry Christmas to you both. Well, I'll be... Captain Ray Comics. He was my hero when I was a kid. But how did he know? It's a perfect evening. All we need now is for it to snow. I love snow at Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, goodbye. It's been fun working with you. You hurry on now. I bet there are some wonderful presents waiting for you at home. Do you really think so? Oh, I don't doubt it at all. Good night, Betty. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. Huh? He saw us. Like he knew all along. It's snowing. Yep. It's wonderful! Whee! <laughs> when do I get a name? As soon as you meet Sally tomorrow morning. Thanks for coming to find me, Ben. You were right. I couldn't have imagined this. <laughs> Swerp! Ben! Swerp! Take Ben again. I'm a big teddy bear flop. I'm supposed to make things better. But because of me, a little teddy bear is gone forever. And Sally's Christmas wish can never come true. I think I'll stay teddy forever. What was that? <sighs> Nothing. I hope Christmas never comes. Watch. Look, Mom! Dad! A train! <laughs> Just what I wanted! Where's my present? This is it! Poor Sally! Oh, he's just what I wanted! Huh? He's beautiful! I love him! Oh! Ben, a teddy bear of my very own. See, I think I'll call him Wally. Wally, meet Ben. 
I'm sure you'll be friends. Hiya, Ben. It's good to be home. W Wally? But how? To Sally, love Santa. <laughs> and Ben. Hi, Ben. What you doing? <sighs> Just remembering. Oh. Merry Christmas, Ben. Merry Christmas, Wally. Sally will be halfway through breakfast by now. Come on! Bad bear! You never do anything right! That's a bear in distress if I ever saw one. Well, every now and then, a, a bear has to sacrifice something. And this is one of those times. That poor fellow needs rescuing. And we're the bears to do it. <sighs> Easy does it. Huh? Oh, no! Oh, look at this mess. There's only one place for you. Where is she taking him? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. We've got to help. Wally, wait. Oh, no. if you'd lent a paw. Sorry, Ben. I was just uh, trying to uh, move this box. Let someone with a little more padding have a try. Push, Wally. There isn't much time. It's no use. Just forget it. I can't reach him. Keep trying. Don't worry about me, but... Wally, there's no time. There's nothing we can do now. Good luck. Luck? Wally, be careful. No bear deserves an end like that. Uh, excuse me. 
Excuse me. Huh? C can I have that teddy bear? It's Sally. It sure could use a new home. Thanks, mister. Goodbye. I'll see you around, kid. Yes. Sally, what is that? It's a teddy bear. Put it down immediately. You can't touch things like this. You don't know where it's been or who it's been with. It could be covered in germs. It was in a garbage pail. Someone was going to throw him out. Well, maybe it was time somebody did. Maybe if he was all washed up, he'd look more like a bear that needs a new home and not like a bear that needs to be thrown out. You never take things out of the garbage. It could have fleas or worse. He deserves a chance. It's not sanitary. Just one little chance. All right. I'll put this dirty little mess of a bear into the washing machine and see how he fares. After that, we'll decide. I only hope he can hold himself together. I don't know, Sal. There might be nothing but stuffing when he's done. It's going to take a lot of loving and wishing to save this bear. He's going to make it. I just know it. Oh. And that's why my python cuddles is a special thing. Uh, how intriguing. Now, Mrs. Windover and the class, I'd like you to make our new student, Tara, feel, uh, welcome. There you are. Come on out, Tara. Don't be shy. Mrs. Windover will take care of you. All right, class. What do we say to Tara? Hello, Tara! Oh, my. We've been talking about special things today. Perhaps you'd like to tell us what is special to you, so that we can get to know you a bit better. Yes, well, Tara will tell her story when she's more comfortable. It will be no time before you'll feel at home. You'll be sitting here. Gee, Ben, do you think he's going to make it? As much as I love a good bath, I have tight seams and they hold together. I don't think anything much is going to hold together on him, Ben. Miss Windover said you lived on my street. Maybe we could walk home together. So, did you just move here? Uh-huh. That's really exciting. Yeah. I've never moved. I've lived in the same house all my life. Kind of boring. We had to leave my friends behind. You did? My mom and Dad had to sell our house. Oh. My mom and Dad moved here, and now I don't have my house or my friends. You have me. We could be friends. Oh, no. Look at that. He fell apart. Maybe he'll look better when he's dry. There. You two keep an eye on him. I'll be back. Is he okay, Ben? I hope so. Um, Ben? Yeah, Wally? I'm getting dizzy. Oh, boy. You're a mess. I've got an idea. A really good idea. Hold on. Help is on the way. Hmm. Let's see. Perfect. This will do. Mom will see how nice he is, and then she'll let me keep him. Ta-da! All back together, Mr. Bear. You look, well, intriguing. I think that means interesting. Come on, Wally. 
help me find him something to wear. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ben, and my friend is Wally. I'm just Bear. He never gave me a name. Absolutely no name whatsoever? None. Every bear deserves a name. I don't. Hmm. Let's see. Wally? <gasps> Wally? Wally? How'd you get down there? You'd fall off anything, you silly bear. Your old shirt. It'll be the right size. Wally, you're a genius. She'll be here any minute, and I'm going to need your help. Tara is very shy, has no friends, and it's up to us to change that. Got it? Good. That's her. I'm going to be fluffy and stuffy and cute. That will make Tara feel comfortable. How about you, Ben? Ben? All children love bears. That's just the way it is. Here they are. This is Wally. He's my bear. And this is Ben. He's Simon's, but he lets me play with him, too. And this is... This one is Busted. Yeah, but he's cute. Maybe you should call him Buster. Buster? Uh-huh, Buster. I like that name. Buster is your new name. Thanks, Tara. such a sad bear? I should have been taken away by the garbage truck. Really? No bear belongs in a garbage truck. I do. You're a young bear. All right, you're a little ripped, but you certainly are a lovely one-eared bear. Sally is a kind, loving little girl. According to the teddy bear rules, we give love and are loved right back. Not where I come from. Peoples are a teddy bear's best friend. Right, Ben? Ben? Buster? Run! Stop! Bad dog! This is not food! This is bear! What are we gonna do, Ben? We've gotta get help. Teddy bear rules. Rule number two, never let a people see you move. I keep forgetting that one. Sorry, Ben. That's okay. We've got to get Sally. <gasps> Hurry, Ben. Buster needs us. <sighs> Just a little further. <sighs> ah, I got it. Rain with its whistle uh, would be easy to wind. Uh, there! One. Two. Oh no! 
The whistle didn't work. I think it's time for risky measures. Right. One, two... What's that? Buster? Buster! Slurp! Stop! Oh, Slurp. Do you think you could have a hospital ready for tomorrow after school? I think he'll need an operation. I say any bear who has held on through so much and a little girl who has done so much to help him deserves a helping hand. Oh, Mom, thank you. So, Mom is going to try to fix Buster. I hope she can. Poor little ripped up there. I kind of know how he feels. You do? Stuffing? Stuffing. Needle? Needle. Scissors? Scissors? <laughs> Sweater and scarf? Sweater and scarf? You look terrific! Look, Wally, Buster is brand new. Ben, isn't he amazing? Thanks, Mom, he's great! Hmm, he still has a really sad face. This is still one sad little bear. You could pop your stitches. Wanna play? Uh, no thanks. I think it's about time you and I had a little talk. So, tell me, Buster, why are you such a sad bear? I'm just not a very good teddy bear. I know teddy bears are supposed to love people, but... But what? Well... I'm afraid. This family is nice, but my family wasn't. I know we have to keep secrets, but I can't keep this secret anymore. The boy I lived with threw me at the cat, left me out in the rain, and worse, he never loved me. You met one mean little boy. You're going to have to learn to trust again. I just can't. Trust me, our peoples will love you. We do. You bet. No peoples will ever love me. <sighs> this is a bear that is far too sad for his own good. What he needs is a little cheering up. Cheering up? That's a perfect job for a teddy bear. I want to show you something beautiful. Come on! This is our special place. Ben and I can here to play when all the peoples are asleep.
Buster, you're going to be just fine. I'm just not sure. You will. You'll see. And soon you'll be ready to trust again. Do you think so? You, you bet. bet. I'm worried about Tara. She's so lonely. I know it's hard for her, but she doesn't even try to be friends. Well, sweetie, Tara's been through a lot. I wonder if she isn't afraid of becoming friends because she might lose you too. Really? She doesn't have very many toys. Maybe I could give her one of mine. That sounds like a perfect idea to me. There, perfect. She'll like one of these. That's her! Tara should choose Buster. He should be with the other toys. I just can't do it. You can do it. We know you can. I'm just not good enough. You'll be great! I can't do it. Look out, Buster! to do something. Stop, dog. I said stop. Now sit. I said sit. You saved us. You did it. I did do it. I can do it. I know you had to leave everything behind. And I have more toys than I can play with. Choose what you like. Buster! Buster? Now, how did you get there? You look almost like a new bear. You look beautiful. Perfect. Huh? Buster needs a new home. And you have one. I... Maybe he can help you not feel lonely anymore. Bears are good at that. You mean it? He really needs someone to love him. I can do that. I'm going to love living here. Now that I have you and Buster. Wally, remember, never let a people see you move. Huh? There you are. Tara, did you pick out a toy? You won't believe it. She chose Buster. She gave him to me. I can't believe it. Neither can I. Now that's an ending every bear deserves. You bet. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Wally. Thank you for everything. Any bear would help a friend.
It's about time. I could use a hug. Me too, Ben. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What are they looking at? Mrs. Jones. Keep walking, Sal, and don't look back. Well, what's the matter? Let go, you're squeezing me. Don't look into her eyes. Hurry up. Why? What's the matter with her? Oh, not much. Except that she's a witch. A witch? A wicked witch. And the way she looked at you, I'd say she was thinking of dinner. Dinner? She eats children. Children like us. Never go near that house. Children have gone in, but they've never come out. <gasps> Who's afraid of the big bad witch? The big bad witch? The big bad witch? <laughs> Simon says the cat's name is Screech. He says that only a witch would name her cat something like that. <laughs> Wally, you and I can never, ever, ever go near that witch she might turn me into dinner, and you into... into a dust ball. So I said, it'll be on your desk tomorrow. Mom, is there such a thing as a real witch? You mean like in the storybooks? Evil and ugly? No, those are just fairy tales. Even Mrs. Jones? <laughs> Mrs. Jones? Certainly not Mrs. Jones. She's just an older lady who lives all by herself. What does she eat? What? What is this? She eats ordinary, everyday food just like we do. I think it's children. <laughs> oh, poor old Mrs. Jones. <laughs> what a diet. <laughs> yeah, I hope the toenails don't tickle her throat. I've heard of witches before, and so I did some uh, research. I read that sometimes they are so ugly, their skin is green. Oh. And it's true, some of them eat children, toenails and all. Just like Simon said, he's absolutely right. He is? Yes. They fool them. Oh. Get them under their spell and... And? Well, and eat them oh. for supper. Even Simon and Sally? I guess so. And Sally said that a witch would turn me into a... a I can't say it. What? A dust ball. We can never go near that house. Just be sure to stay away, Wally. Far away. My absolute favorite. It smells yummy. I worked hard to make it perfect. Your pies are always perfect to me. Me too. Thank you. But this one has a special mission. It does? This pie is going to prove to you that Mrs. Jones is not a child-eating witch. I'm not sure I want to know how it's going to do that. Of course you do, son. You and your sister are going to take it over and give it to her personally. Mom, do you ever want to see your children again? I'll see you in a few minutes. Now go and grab your jackets. How could Mom do this? Doesn't she know they could be dinner? Wally? Wally? Do witches like blueberry pie? Quick, go Teddy, they're coming back. I won't be your son anymore, I'll be your bag of bones. Okay Wally, the coast is clear. 
Wally? Wally! I really hope we'll be back. All this talk is nonsense. Off you go and find out for yourselves. Wally? trouble if she's hungry. Oh, Simon, she's scary. Oh, two sweet little children. Do come in. It's okay. We'll stay right here. Of course. It used to be that children visited me all the time, but sadly there aren't any left. But you two little dears could be the start of a whole new batch. Uh, uh th th this is for you. My, my, uh, my mom cooked it. It's blueberry. Oh, I just love to eat sweet things. Are teddy bears sweet? <gasps> I think they are. Uh, are you a witch? <laughs> Sorry, sisters sometimes say the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> Someone with such pretty hair shouldn't think such silly things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right up to her house. No, she turned me into a dust ball. Okay, I could wait until dark and sneak inside. And Wally could be a dust ball by then. Oh, great gabber snappies. What's a teddy bear to do? Have you seen Wally? I can't find him anywhere. Oh, my dear little sweeties, are we all comfy? <laughs> Dad! Dad, she's a witch! We've got proof! Calm down. No, really, Dad! She's burying things in her backyard! Now look, son. It's easy to get the wrong impression of people. I know what I saw. What's the wrong impression? Well, thinking things are one way before you fully understand the way they truly are. always dress for dinner and now I have the occasion to do it again oh, I've worked up a wonderful appetite I'm brewing up a supper that will be better than my suppers have been in years I must find a way to get those dear little children to come for a visit they are dear aren't they my furry little fellow I'm sure you'd like to see them again now, my plump 
up, little bear. I bet you're dying to know what unexpected surprise I have in store for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dad laughs, but he doesn't know what we know. He doesn't know about her backyard. Something's buried there, and it sure isn't treasure. What is it, then? I don't know what it is, but I think maybe it's up to us to find out. How are we going to do that? I think we should snoop around and see what we can see. Come on. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Do I have to drag you everywhere? Come on. She's cooking something. That's little children's fingers for sure. Maybe she's just brewing soup. With children's fingers? It's not quite ready for you. <laughs> Soon. Keep your fingers in your pockets. No real cat screams like that. That's definitely a witch's cat. Come in, my beauty. I have a sweet treat in store for you tonight. and as perfect as the peas in my garden. Wally! Wally! <laughs> what are you screeching at, my pretty? You have a very good imagination, Simon. What if Dad was right? What? If you are so sure she's nothing but an innocent old lady, then I dare you to walk up and knock on the door. I must get the silver. Nothing but the best tonight. <laughs> Wally. Oh my gosh! I must be close to the end now. I'm hearing things. Wally, over here. Quick. Ben, it's you. It's really you. There's no time for hugging. They'll be back in a minute. That witch was about to turn me into a teddy bear on a dust ball. She still will if you don't hurry up. Now come with me. It's perfectly safe. Whoa. <gasps> There we go. I found. 
found it. Now, Screechy, what have I told you about jumping up on the counters? Manners are for everybody. We are having a very special treat tonight. <laughs> Something we haven't had in a long time. This is the part where I need you, dearie. <laughs> no, wait! Sal! I have something that will warm your fuzzy little heart. more special dinner than I'd ever dreamed of. What a tender little thing you are, dearie. Just what I need to make my evening perfect. <laughs> I have a real surprise for you. Look in my oven. Oh, no. Cupcakes. You'll have to take me first. That's my sister and nobody, not even a witch, gets to hurt her. The cupcakes will be ready in a minute. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I thought... Mmm, they smell good. I hope so. I was just so touched by your delightful gesture this afternoon. The pie. The little gift, I, I just couldn't help myself. He helped make them. Oh, I loved the company. Wally? He reminded me of a bear I had years ago. It made me think that I've been spending an awful lot of time getting old and not enough staying young. So I got dressed up and made a treat to bring back to your house. A treat? Thank you for lending me this little fellow. I loved having him here, but he belongs to you, dearie. What did you do with those? Hmm, why, I cooked them in this big pot. Stew. Made with... with... Yes. A woman of my age needs plenty of vegetables to stay healthy. Vegetables? In the garden! The vegetable garden! I... <laughs> I guess I do have a wild imagination. I'm sorry. Oh, great things come out of wild imaginations. No harm done at all. Go get Ben. Ben! Now how did you get in here? Silly old cat. I guess she wanted a visitor too. Didn't you, Screechy? What a fine young bear. Thank you very much. These are the best cupcakes I've ever had. Why, thank you, dear. Excuse me, Mrs. Jones, but I think we'd better get home. 
I've got to talk to my mom and dad about a couple of things. Of course, don't let me keep you. Now please, remember that you have an open welcome here. You come back any time. Oh, and don't forget to bring these two delightful bears. We won't. Well, I nearly had bear failure and I almost lost my stitching. But you didn't. You must learn to control your curiosity, Wally. It always gets you into trouble. You need to be more careful and think ahead. It's all over now, so let's have a midnight picnic. Over? I suspect I'll be suffering the repercussions of this day for all the... Mmm. Mmm. This is quite delicious. It's very good. Mostly good to be back with you, Ben. <sighs> You too, Wally. You too.